a daring window washer, taking a break on the Empire State Building on March 24, 1936. The Empire State Building, located in New York City, was completed in 1931 and stood as the tallest building in the world at that time. It quickly became a symbol of American innovation and progress during the Great Depression. Margaret Hamilton's portrayal of the Wicked Witch of the West in The Wizard of Oz, 1939. The Wizard of Oz is a classic fantasy film directed by Victor Fleming. It is based on L. Frank Baum's novel and has become one of the most beloved and enduring films in cinematic history. The Uniroyal Giant Tire at the New York World's Fair in 1964 was a notable and iconic attraction. The fair took place in Flushing Meadows Corona Park in Queens, New York from April 22nd to October 18th, 1964, and again from April 21st to October 17th, 1965. Listening booths from the 1950s were small, enclosed spaces where individuals could listen to music, often in the form of vinyl records, in a private and controlled environment. Listening booths were typically designed as small, soundproof enclosures. They often had a comfortable seat, a record player and headphones. Goodyear introduced illuminated tyres in 1961, aligning with a period of increased interest in futuristic and technologically advanced automotive features. The illuminated tyres were crafted from a single synthetic rubber piece. The design included internal bulbs positioned on the wheel rim. This innovative design aimed to enhance the aesthetic appeal of vehicles, especially during nighttime driving. Nicholas Murray's portrait of Elizabeth Taylor in 1948 is a striking and iconic image captured by the renowned Hungarian-American photographer. Nicholas Murray was a prolific portrait photographer known for his colorful and artistic images. He had a distinctive style that often utilized bold colors and innovative techniques. Cars lined up in Times Square, New York for the start of the New York to Paris auto race in 1908. The New York to Paris auto race, also known as the Great Race, was an ambitious and pioneering automotive competition that took place in 1908. It was a global event covering a vast distance and challenging terrains. Lionel Buster Crab was a British Royal Navy frogman an MI6 diver who became famous for his mysterious disappearance during a mission involving a Soviet cruiser in 1956. Crab was an experienced and skilled frogman trained in underwater operations. He later worked for MI6, the British Intelligence Service, where his expertise in underwater activities was utilized for espionage and intelligence gathering. a behind-the-scenes moment with actress Betty Grable and life photographer Walter Sanders during a photo session. The image depicts a more intimate and candid moment in the process of preparing for a photo session. Applying cold cream to the legs was likely part of the grooming and preparation routine to ensure that Grable looked her best for the upcoming photographs. Fire Breather in Boulevard de Rochechouart, Paris, 1949. Fire breathing is a daring and visually striking form of entertainment, often associated with street performers and artists. The ill-fated expedition, led by Sir Ernest Shackleton, aboard the ship Endurance in 1915. The journey faced challenges early on, as the Endurance encountered heavy pack ice in the Weddell Sea. Despite attempts to navigate through the ice, the ship became trapped and ultimately stuck in the ice. 
Gentleman Jim is a 1942 film featuring Errol Flynn in the title role as James J. Corbett, a renowned American boxer. The film portrays the life of James J. Corbett, a heavyweight boxing champion, and is often considered one of the classic sports biopics. Electricians working on the Eiffel Tower in 1937. Throughout its history, the Eiffel Tower has undergone various maintenance and renovation projects to ensure its structural integrity and to adapt to technological advancements. Marie-Madeleine Berthe Lebeau, known professionally as Madeleine Lebeau, was a French film actress. She was best known for her role as Yvonne, the jilted mistress of Rick Blaine, played by Humphrey Bogart, in the classic film Casablanca, 1942. Leonard Nimoy, getting his Spock haircut in the 1960s. Leonard Nimoy was an American actor, film director, author and singer, best known for his portrayal of Spock in the Star Trek franchise. He gained widespread recognition for bringing the half-Vulcan, half-human science officer to life. A Royal Army Ordnance Corps corporal unpacking American Thompson submachine guns on March 23, 1942, at the Central Ordnance Depot in Whedon, Northamptonshire, provides insight into a crucial moment during World War II and the Lend-Lease Aid Program. Marie Devereux was a British model and film actress. She gained recognition as a model in the 1960s. She was known for her striking looks and appeared in various fashion and glamour publications of the time. George Barnes Jr. aka Machine Gun Kelly was an American gangster known for his involvement in criminal activities during the Prohibition era. George Barnes Jr. acquired the nickname Machine Gun Kelly due to his association with a Thompson submachine gun. He rose to notoriety during the Prohibition era, 1920 to 1933, a time when the production, sale and transportation of alcoholic beverages were prohibited in the United States. Criminal organizations engaged in illegal activities, including bootlegging and racketeering. A milkman making deliveries despite a flood in Buckinghamshire in 1954 reflects a dedication to service and resilience in the face of adverse conditions. Marlon Brando on the set of On the Waterfront, applying his makeup for the grand finale scene in 1954. One of the most iconic actors in film history played the lead role of Terry Malloy in On the Waterfront. His performance in the movie is widely regarded as one of the greatest in cinematic history. Models wearing Opart designs by Lee Cecil in London in 1966 refers to a moment in fashion history that encapsulates the Opart movement's influence on clothing. Opart, short for optical art, was an art movement that emerged in the 1960s. It focused on creating visual illusions and effects through geometric shapes, patterns, and the interaction of colors. Op art often played with perception and optical effects. New York City in 1977. The 1970s were a challenging time for New York City economically. The city faced fiscal crises and urban decay was prevalent. High crime rates and a declining economy contributed to a sense of hardship. A very large organ pipe cactus in Baja, California, photographed by Leon de Gay in 1895. The organ pipe cactus, Stenocerius thurberi, is a large and distinctive cactus species native to the Sonoran Desert, including areas in Arizona, California, and Mexico. Its tall cylindrical stems resemble the pipes of a church organ, hence the name. 
Joan Marie Larkin, born on September 22, 1958, and known professionally as Joan Jett, is a prominent figure in the American rock music scene. In the mid-1970s, Joan Jett co-founded the all-female rock band The Runaways. The band gained attention for their rebellious attitude and rock sound. Joan Jett's role as the guitarist and one of the main songwriters contributed to the band's success. Women Window Cleaners in England, Year 1917 The demand for labour during wartime led to the entry of women into occupations that were traditionally male-dominated. Women took on roles in industries, factories, transportation and even jobs, such as window cleaning, as depicted in the image. Led Zeppelin, one of the most iconic rock bands in history, experienced its peak of fame and creativity during the 1970s. Led Zeppelin's live performances were legendary and played a significant role in their success. The band's improvisational skills and energetic stage presence set them apart, making each concert a memorable experience for fans. A farm wife keeping eggs fresh from the hen house in a refrigerator in 1942. The use of a refrigerator in 1942 was a notable technological advancement. Refrigerators, though becoming more common, were not as widespread as they are today. The construction of the Hoover Dam was an engineering marvel that took place during the Great Depression in the United States. The Hoover Dam project provided employment opportunities for thousands of workers during the Great Depression. It was part of the federal government's efforts to stimulate the economy and create jobs during a challenging economic period. Christmas parcels being sorted at the Royal Mail Sorting Office in Mount Pleasant, London on November 7, 1939. Mount Pleasant, located in the Clerkenwell area of London, has been a central hub for postal services for many years. The Seventh Seal is a landmark Swedish film directed by Ingmar Bergman, released in 1957. The film explores existential themes and is known for its profound and thought-provoking narrative. It was released in 1957 and is considered one of Bergman's masterpieces. The film's release contributed to the international recognition of Swedish cinema, 